Hey there everyone, it is Kay Jones coming at you with another video and this is going to be a Corporal Solo um, Beast Guide. Wait, Solo Corporal Beast Guide? Wow, I don't know why I got that mixed up, but I did. And I'm going to be going over everything that you need to know. Um, I do want to say that there are many different methods to kill Corp. And I'm not saying that this is the most efficient one. This is just what I'm most comfortable with and what I have been doing. So let's go ahead and discuss gear. Missouri top and bottoms are going to be your best bet. Right now I'm not praying prayer, but if you did, you would just go ahead and pray uh, mage along with piety. Some people prefer protecting melee, but I think protecting mage and piety is the best way to go. You would want Missouri top and bottoms or Carol's top and bottoms. You don't want to wear armadillo, and the reason why is because it gives negative melee attack bonuses. I will show you that when I bank. So although I do have the armadillo top, I don't wear it because I don't want those melee um, negative bonuses. I'm using a fang, but you can use a zamorak and spear. The wiki says the Zamrak and Spear is the best in slot, but in my personal opinion, I find that the, um, I personally find that the Fang hits harder. I'm, I don't know, they say it's best in slot, but that's just not the case in my personal opinion. You're going to need house teleports. You can use your your max cape if you have that. However, I find it easier just to have direct teleports. You're going to need an ornate pool of rejuvenation in your house, and I highly recommend having an ornate jewelry box in your house. So basically, you can teleport to Corporal Beast very easily. You can have games necklaces if you want with an ornate pool, but really just get both. It's going to really help you. If you're an Iron Man, you're hopefully at a high tier level, and you'll have those if you because really, Corp should be really late game content. There's so many other things to prioritize as of December 18, 2023 than doing Corporal Beast on your iron. So definitely hit up braids and things like that first. So let me show you why Armadillo is not something that I wear. If you wear this Armadillo top, you'll notice that the stab slash bonuses go down versus with the Carol's top, it doesn't. Same with Missouri, it does not decrease your attack bonus, but it does give you more magic defense. So, um, that's why. You're going to need an art li arc light with charges and a Bando's God Sword. I like to bring the Dwarven Helmet and the Mythical Cape for some crush bonus when I'm trying to get Warhammer hits. I like to set up my inventory as so, where I have two Super Combats, two full dose prayer potions, and um, full inventory of food. So I like to teleport to my house, and you really want to get three Dragon Warhammer specs, 20 Arc Lights, 20, excuse me, Arc Light specs, and 200 damage with your Bandos God Sword. So I'm going to repeat that one more time. You're going to want to get three Dragon Warhammer specs, 20 Arc light specs and 200 damage with a bandos god sword i recommend you write that down if this is your first time attempting corp just so you don't forget another thing i would like to mention is you can use you really do need at least a zamorak and spear spear you must have a bgs and you must have a dragon warhammer and you must have an arc light for the method i'm showing as well as the pool in your house and a method to teleport quickly to corp. So the way I do it is I first start off with the three Dragon Warhammer specs and then I go on to the arc like arc light specs. I do not switch I switch to my excuse me Nezanot and my Inferno cape when I'm when I've gotten my Dragon Warhammer specs. So that's what my gear looks like now. You can bring a Fury instead of Amulet of Torture, but at this stage on your Iron Man, you should have at least a Torture if you're doing Corp. There are, like I said, other things to prioritize on an Iron Man before you do Corporal Beast. 
it's a very grindy a grindy boss to solo this method and it takes on average about 10 minutes a kill um, sometimes a little more sometimes a little less so when we get these 20 arc like specs then I'm going to be doing 200 damage on BGS and then I'll be back another thing I would like to discuss is that if you are an Iron Man like myself you will be going into an Iron Man instance so other Iron Mans can crash you um, if you see this ancient brazier is lit that means that an Iron Man has been actively in the Corporal Beast layer and that you should hop worlds um, because that would be very rude to crash our fellow Iron Man we know how awful that would be if it happened to us especially since these kills take quite a long time additionally I highly recommend that you watch a TV show or something while doing this I have been watching a lot of things on Netflix and it's it's been quite enjoyable and kind of relaxing if you leave the corporal beast layer you will be going out into the wilderness so always teleport out don't ever walk out through the cave exit I'd like to also quickly go over the different methods of killing the core if you're unfamiliar with what that is just wait till I finally zerg down corp the core comes out and if it hits you it will heal the corporal beast and also do damage to you there are different methods to handling that you can put a cannon down and the cannon will kill the core whenever it pops up you can simply dodge the core the entire time or you can simply kill the core one time in a method that it will never respawn again so those are your options I prefer the option of where I can kill the core and it never responds ever again if I do it correctly you do have to be a little tick perfect and it may take a little practice but no worries um, I think that it is easily doable and that cannon is always an option too I just have never messed with it but that will get down the core as well the dodging method I will show very briefly and, and, and show what that looks like as well another thing I would like to mention is that there is a ruin light plugin called corporal beast you can go ahead and turn that on or download it within the plugin hub you're gonna want it to show damage overlay which I believe is that's what this is it tells you how many specs you've completed successfully how many how much uh, DPS on the bandage god sword etc and that is very helpful if you didn't know that that was an option or how to set that up okay so as you can see all my specs are all out so you would get your Zamrak and Spear here or if you prefer the Fang like I do with a Defender you can do that so here I'm dodging the core this is how you do that and the other method that you can do that is you can hit the core oops I messed up excuse me there's a way where you can hit the core oh can't if you don't want to hit it it's not gonna work so here we go one moment I'm setting it up I've never done this as like an explanation but basically you hit the core and you run two tiles and if it doesn't drop ashes you did it correctly I don't know if you've noticed but there are no ashes on the ground and that means that the core is not going to respawn ever again so you can just sit here and chill and now kill corp that's how I like to handle it I wanted to show the method of dodging him as well but I think this is more AFK so like if you kill him one time and then you move two tiles away properly um, he's gone if there's no ashes you know you did it correctly if there's ashes you were not tip per tick perfect tick perfect so when you hit him it needs to be a one hit um, or the killing blow and go two tiles away um, if you didn't hit that correctly on the tick running away whenever he dies at the same time then you know you did it incorrectly because there's ashes 
So I think that that's a fantastic method because the core will not spawn again and I just feel like this is very AFKable at this point. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, you can leave it in the comment below. If you want to see some more clips on how to eliminate the core, the core and not have him spawn again, there are other YouTube videos explaining what I just kind of showed in more detail with multiple attempts. But really the best way is, you know, now practicing it. You saw me do it now just as soon as the core is dying, click away two tiles and you should be good. So be careful not to walk under corp because that's a lot of damage and that would be quite bad. So thanks for watching guys and feel free to like and, and subscribe to the channel if you enjoy this content. Thanks.